Thank you once again to Mustafa Ali for a, another gracious recitation of the Holy Quran. Um, now we are at the part of the show where yeah. we are kicking off more or less the first first segment of the show, um, looking into the common or not so common supplications, du'as, um, recitations, ziyaras within the literature of the Ahlul Bayt and shedding some light. Yeah. Um, and who are we joined by, Zara? We are joined by testing me because I don't get names right, but yeah. brother <laughs> Ibrahim Al Ansari, I do not forget. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. It's a pleasure. Um, I personally learn a lot mm -hmm. hearing your um, your interpretations, and obviously you do your background. So it's it's a wonderful moment for us to be able to share um, and start our day. So today we're going to speak about um, the birth of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Inshallah, alayhi salam. So do you want to explain what you've chosen and? What you'll be reciting. First of all, uh, once again, congratulations to to yourselves, to your families, you. and to Thanks. the whole Islamic Ummah. In fact, to the whole Creation, mankind. Mm. Yeah. On on the birth of Amir al Mu'minin, Mawla al Muhajin, this amazing personality. Um, I don't think there's any tongue that can actually come close to describe him to the extent where even Imam Zainul Abidin, who's an infallible, one day Imam al Baqir. He looks at him and he says to him, Oh Father, I see you crying. Why are you crying so much? He says to him, I am reading the ibadah of your grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen. And, and Imam Zain al-Abdin, he's, he's known to be of those who are within ibadah. Zain al-Abdin, mm. the beauty of, of, of those who, who mm. perform ibadah. Wow. I'm looking at the ibadah of your grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen. He says to him, so why do you cry so much? He said, because who will ever reach? Subhanallah. Amir al Mu'minin. So, this amazing, great personality. Um, in terms of what I chose. He's an amazing personality. See, before you start there, that yeah. people. Is there something that says that he. Um, people will either love him or loathe him. Mm. There's yeah. no in between, mm. is there? There's no in between at all. There's no in between at all. And, and the, the hadith that we have in terms of his love and in terms of his hate, mm. don't want to get into the detail of them, no. but we realize that whoever is of a pure heart, let's say, yes. will always have the love of Amir al muminin installed within them and those who let's say hold some sort of hate hold mm -hmm. some sort of um, come from a mm -hmm. not not a very pure uh, origin would always have some sort of hate towards Amir al muminin and of course at the end of the day he is the divider between good and evil definitely mm -hmm. so sorry didn't mean to yeah <laughs> carry on please so i think you've chosen um for today um an extract from ziyarat aminillah yeah so what was that new word you learned extract no oh except yeah oh, right. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure uh, just for the benefit of the viewers um and this is the first time you're you're you're, you're uh, tuning in um in in the previous episode with with ibrahim i had a particular issue with um except yeah. <laughs> um, and I couldn't pronounce it properly, although it's phonetically, it's all over the place because it's got an E-X-C-E-R-P-T, um, but apparently it's pr pronounced except. So in, today, in yeah. this episode, I've chosen to, to use extract just in case um, <laughs> I, I make that mistake again. So uh, in terms of the extract that you've chosen, um, it's from Ziyarat Amin Allah. Yeah. So Ziyarat Amin Allah is, in fact, so you just mentioned Imam, Sa Sa uh, Imam Sajjad sorry, mm. and Imam Al-Baqir. And in fact, this specific ziyara is narrated from Imam al-Baqir, who has heard it from Imam al-Sajjad. Mm. So he heard the ziyara being recited by Imam al-Sajjad, and it is narrated from Imam al-Baqir. It is, uh, if you go, inshallah, we're all blessed um, to visit Amir al-Mu'minin in, in uh, the city of Najaf. Um, you'll realize that when you stand by the gates, there's a big board that has ziyara to Amin Allah. Mm. And this is the ziyara that is actually mustahab um, to always uh, recite when you are uh, going on ziyarah towards him. Um, the the ziyarah in itso itself is very beautiful. Uh, the ziyarah, it talks about Amir al muminin it, it is the ma'asum. You see, there's, there's something that we need to remember. When we talk about a ma'asum talking towards a ma'asum, it isn't just like any two human beings talking. So when the ma'asum is telling the other ma'asum, "Atayta zaka, amarta bil ma'roof, nahayta an al munkar," if he's telling him, "Jahadta fi Allahi haqa jihadeh," of course, not, the jihad is not necessarily uh, fighting. Jihad is, is, mm. is the struggle. You showed you showed great struggle. 
it is in a way showing the true status of that uh, specific imam. And this actually, um, this uh, extract, I'll go with uh, Ali's way, this extract <laughs> that was chosen, um, that I chose, is actually one way in which uh, they were talking about how, uh, the, sorry, the one that relates to the status of Amir al muminin The other part of the ziyarah includes some du'as as well. Um, this very s uh, first part is actually very specific to actually salutations towards the Imam. All right. Please. So. Mm -hmm. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Assalamu alayka ya amin Allah fi ardhihi wa hujjatahu ala ibadih. Assalamu alayka ya amir al-mu'mineen. أشهد أنك جاهدت في الله حق جهاده وعملت بكتابه واتبعت سنن سنن نبيه صلى الله عليه وآله حتى دعاك الله إلى جواره فقبضك إليه باختياره وألزم عداءك الحجة مع ما لك من الحجج البالغة على جميع خلقه اللهم فاجعل نفسي مطمئنة بقدرك راضية بقضائك مولعة بذكرك ودعائك محبة لصفوة أوليائك محبوبة في أرضك وسمائك صابرة على نزول بلائك شاكرة لفواضل نعمائك ذاكرة لسوابغ آلائك مشتاقة إلى فرحة لقائك متزودة التقوى ليوم جزائك مستنة بسنن أوليائك مفارقة لأخلاق أعدائك مجهولة عن الدنيا بحمدك وثنائك اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I think I in terms of the, the ziyarah, um, there is actually another ziyarah for Imam Ali alayhi salam, a much more specific ziyarah about his life. Correct me if I'm wrong. There, there, there possibly is. Um, just it's with this specific ziyarah, um, first of all, uh, we like to talk about Senad a lot. Mm -hmm. The Senad is, is, is very strong. Mm -hmm. um, the recommendations of the Ziyarah, we find uh, many narrations which recommend the Ziyarah. And uh, we realize that it is, the, in fact, the Ziyarah that most of the infallibles would use when right. visiting Amir al muminin alayhi alayhi wa sallam. And when we look at the Ziyarah itself, we realize that, so for example, when I said earlier that when a ma'soom is talking to a ma'soom, so when he says to him, جَهَدْتَ فِي اللَّهِ حَقَّ جِهَادِهِ then وَعَمِلْتَ بِكِتَابِهِ An infallible is telling, is saying that this person actually worked according to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is very, uh, very important and especially in the eyes of those who hate Amir al-Mu'mineen. Many of them try to come and say that, that Imam Ali is, is bringing stuff from his uh, own side pocket, he is doing this, he's doing... No, the Ma'asum is telling you, no. He, he worked based on the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in fact, we realize in history that Amir al-Mu'mineen, in fact, at one point, um, rejected Khilafah because they tried to order him to tell him that if you want to, uh, if you want to actually take Khilafah, that... On top of uh, following the book of Allah and on top of following the Prophet, you must follow mm -hmm. another thing which we uh, will uh, stay away from mentioning. Amir al Mu'min replies, What? He says, I will only follow the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Sunnah of the Prophet. Very fiercely. Those are the only two things that I will work, work, work with, and which is why you realize that Amir al Mu'mineen within his akhlaq within his uh, manners, within the way he talks to people, Rasulullah would then refer to him, Ya Ali, هذا كتاب الله الصامت وأنت كتاب الله الناطق. Mm. You are the book of Allah that, that walks on the ground, that talks. And this is the one that is just scripture. Because he embodied yeah. whatever the Quran held within his personality. 
I think you just sit there all day. Yeah. It's just <laughs> so it's very interesting to see that the infallible confirming the status of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Um, and I mean, does it does it need another infallible to kind of mm. really confirm the status of Imam Ali alayhi salam? In of course. Sense? Uh, Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, his status was already confirmed by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was confirmed by um, every single infallible that came, even by Fatima to Zahra alayhi salatu wasalam with her, her lengthy speech uh, that she spoke uh, mm. before, before she had passed away. However, when we look at the infallibles confirming status, it is not that they are in need. Just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of us to worship Him. He is not in need for us to mm -hmm. thank Him. It is not a need. Whereas when the infallible actually confirms the status, it is to tell the people of His time, and it is to tell the people to come, those who's, who His message will reach to. So for example, we are sitting here talking about Imam al-Baqir confirming this. Mm -hmm. It is to make sure and echo that this is Amir al muminin Because in every single era that you will live in, you will find people who hate Amir al muminin You will find people who will try to fight against Amir al muminin Amir al muminin is not in need for us to confirm his status. Yes. But his status must be shown. Because only through him you will find Rasulullah. And only through Rasulullah you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. Can I ask you then, based on, beautifully explained, um, but my mind goes towards people, um, us as Muslims, who look towards other people to give that affirmity towards Imam Ali, for instance. There's that Christian Lebanese, I don't know if you've heard that he's George, written a George book. George or something. I can't remember, I have his book at home even. But um, he, so he's written a lot of praise about Imam Ali, he's a Christian. Do you think as Muslims we look towards others and giving that sort of praise thinking is almost like validating what we're, we're, what we believe or do you think that that's also necessary for us to say, you know, actually his character was such universally appeals to, you know, whoever wants to have truth and justice in their lives and many other attributes and um, nobility he had. But what do you think, what's your personal sort of take on when we, we sort of say, oh look, a Christian's giving that validation to the Imam? Of course, like I said, validations is not needed. Mm. Um, now, not to say it in, in, in a blunt way, but the validation of the Imam is not given through us, mm. by any means. Regardless, if the person is Christian, Muslim, uh, Jewish, whatever they may be, the validation of the Imam is not given through them. The, mm. A validation of a specific person can only be given if the person is of a similar Ranking or higher. Or, or higher. Yeah. Now Imam al-Baqir and Imam, sorry, Imam al-Sajjad, because it's initially from Imam al-Sajjad, he's not higher than Amir al mumin no. He's not on the same level either, but he's the highest that he can get mm. until you can reach mm. Amir al mumin And in fact, within this validation that he gives, it is it's because we only focused on this very first part that we are focusing solely on just validation, whereas when we look at the rest of the ziyara and even within this extract that, that is present, Imam al-Sajjad first, because we need to remember that whatever comes from the Ma'asum is, mm. is, is lessons for us as well. Imam al-Sajjad first says that this is what he did. He validated his character in terms of how he lived his life. Mm. Then, after which he says, Allahumma faj'al nafsi mutma'innatan biqadarik, radiyatan biqadaik. Oh Allah, if I can find the um, translation, he says, O oh Allah, make my soul satisfied with your decree, pleased with what you have destined for me, fond of your remembrance and supplications, loving your chosen uh, friends, well liked on your earth and on your heavens, patient when you send down uh, uh, afflic afflictions. We realize that all of these attributes mentioned are all attributes that Amir al Mu'minin had. Mm. Mm. So similarly, when we talked in Ziyarat Jama'ah, when he first said, Ajsadukum fil Ajsad, and this is how you live, you are just like us normal human beings, then relate, this is telling us that this is the best example that you will find. Why? Because he, he struggled in the way of Allah, the best way anyone can struggle. Then, 
He worked towards the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the best of ways. He followed the sunnah, the way of the Prophet in the best of ways. Therefore, what else do you want? This is the best of the best. Therefore, let's live our lives in the same way Absolutely. that Amir al-Mu'mineen mm. had lived his life. Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, honestly, he's, every Thursday when you recite the Wai Kamal, you just think, you know, the most humbling experience even for you to read. And you think, who's the author of that? Mm. And you yeah. think, subhanAllah, how he, you know, his humility and yet his position Allah and the Holy Prophet Wasallam, has given him. And that's only one of the many du'as. Du'a al-Sabah is another amazing du'as with amazing meanings behind it. And in fact, maybe if we possibly get one of the days where we have a chance to talk about du'a al-Sabah, unbelievable meanings behind it. Unfortunately, that brings our time to a close just for this particular segment, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers of the show. Ibrahim, once again, me and Zara are very, very much in gratitude towards you and the amount of wisdom that you give us in terms of the specific wisdom, the significance of these du'as and recitations. So we really, really appreciate your time. On that note, Zara, we are going to be joining yourself after the break with Brother Bilal for specialist segment. So stay tuned.